this property. Did y'all inspect it before y'all took over? Did y'all know what y'all was getting yourself into before y'all took over this? I can only, I know that uh, Redwood as an owner went through their process for due diligence. Okay. Now, I don't know exactly what that process is, but I do know they have a process. For us, we did not do a site inspection or a unit inspections or file inspections or anything like that. Redwood is an existing client and they asked us to come into these sites and uh, manage on their behalf. So, um, so from our standpoint, I can say, no, we didn't do um, uh, a full due diligence. From our standpoint, we relied upon Redwood. Um, if we knew then what we know now, would we still um, manage? The answer is yes, but I think uh, none of us were prepared to, uh, with all of the issues that we encountered. So it was surprising. And I'm not blaming Redwood for that. That's something that, and if, you, know, you might have just given us some pretty good advice in terms of what to do in the future. Uh, but there's just a lot of the issues here. It's a, you know, it's a, it's an older building that needed a complete renovation. That it needs more than a renovation. Um, I have inspector reports from the housing division. Um, and some of the reports have said it should be demolished. It should have been demolished. It, they said they put it, it is inhabitable to live in. No human now, should where be was living that, in. Uh, in Nikia, uh, that was uh, an inspector report from the uh, housing division, because I also go there and get the inspector reports. Um, and some of these were from 2019. It, it was before I moved okay. up here. So, okay. um, yeah. So with that being saying, if they are saying that it is inhabitable and it should been it should have been demolished, that's where I'm getting at. Why wasn't it inspected before y'all took on this task of renovating it? Because renovating it is putting a band aid on something that needs surgery. So okay. um, yeah. and I'm not trying to be I'm yeah, I'm, okay, and I'm not trying to be cagey uh, with this answer here for you. You know, it's. I can't answer on behalf of Redwood, and I know Jonathan wasn't working with Redwood at the time, so he doesn't have the proper perspective. Uh, I, I do know that uh, uh, LaTanya also shared the same uh, concerns, and I, I will say this, is that because of how they financed it, they financed it through what's called the tax credit program, which is an IRS program. If they were to demolish the the property right now and rebuild, it would cost them. They would lose all their tax credits, which are uh, have investors who are like uh, banks and things like that. They would be sued. The the loss would be in the hundreds of millions of dollars, and the liability would be that. So, Erickson Apartments, we have to live in filth because people are scared to lose money. That's what you're yeah. saying. Well, no, it's not just a little bit of money. It's a huge. So huge. our lives is not worth anything, basically. No, no, I'm not saying that at all. And you don't, if you take that, that I'm saying the current conditions are acceptable. No, they're not. They're not. So why they're do you not. guys feel that it's okay for us to live like this? Oh. Well, I think that's the reason why the decision was made to to renovate the property and I hear you you're saying that wasn't enough in your opinion this renovation was not enough it's not enough it's, it's not enough yeah and let me, let me tell you something when I moved there in 2020 mine was I had new counters <laughs> new carpet new everything but that wasn't the issue that's never going to be the issue it's the rolling and stuff that is the issue it is because the foundation is so worn out it's because waste management is there that is the issue. Okay. Yeah, yeah.